Would you like to learn how to get a job in digital marketing even if you have no experience? Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel and today I'm going to break down how to get a job in digital marketing even if you have no experience. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel and if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. Out of curiosity, how many years of experience do you currently have? Is it zero? Is it one year? Is it three years? Let me know in the comments below and then I'll figure out how to help you out in addition from this video content. Any questions you may have, I can adjust the uh, responses based on the amount of years you have in experience. So doing digital marketing for a real business is the best way to learn it. Before even trying to sell digital marketing services or trying to get a job, you gotta learn it yourself. Find one area that you can deliver results in fast. For example, paid ad management or it could be email marketing or it could be things like social media marketing. I would avoid things like learning SEO right away. The reason being is SEO takes slow and steady to get results. YouTube SEO, you can get results right away, but traditional Google SEO or Bing SEO, it does take time. So when you're learning digital marketing, you want to get a job. Remember, the quicker you can produce results, the better off you are it. So I want you to now find a niche to specialize in. Example of this is local industries like dentistry, real estate, financial services, doctors. I found that local businesses or e-commerce, they have quite a bit of a high LTV. There's tons and tons of customers. They're always popping up. It's a really good area to specialize in. Um, in addition to that, if you read blogs from a lot of the popular marketing blogs out there and you learn tips from them, you create your own site and you implement what you just learned, you can get firsthand experience really fast and this can help you get better experience. And when you're going out for a job, you have to remember, even if you don't have time to create your own websites, what I like doing, this helps get a job quicker than anything else that I've tested, is you do free audits. Even if it's SEO or paid advertising, you can do free audits. So for example, this is, I can take a competitor URL and put it into Ubersuggest, go into the site audit report, show them what's wrong, create my own report, send it off to them, and there's a good chance they may hire you for SEO. You gotta look at the mistakes they're doing, what's costing you money, what they can fix, what priority uh, should they make those fixes. And what's funny is the Uber Sita site auto report will show you all of that even if you don't have the most experience out there. Now, also look at opportunities that they're not leveraging. Are their competitors doing social media marketing and they're not? Are their competitors doing SEO and they're not? Are their competitors doing paid advertising and they're not? Keep in mind, people wouldn't be spending all this money unless it worked. You also want to make sure that your advice is actionable and as more actionable as possible, the better. In other words, can they take what you just provide them and do it without you? If they can, that's a good thing. You're probably like, Neil, how's that a good thing? That means they don't have to hire me. Well, if you put all your cards on the table and you put people first, there's actually a better chance you'll get hired. Always tie your advice back to measurable ROI. This is super important. This is why people use tools like Google Analytics to track the ROI. And what I recommend doing is if you're trying to get a job, charge less than the agencies out there and other professionals in your local area. And I would recommend doing some work for free. And if you give a little bit away for free and you build that trust, there's a really high chance that they will hire you. Because look, at the end of the day, your goal is to give clients results and showing that you're willing to put some skin in the game really helps, right? You need to show how you can increase your sales, show an increase in leads, show more foot traffic, show more phone calls dialing in. The better your results that you're bringing your clients, the better type of clients you're gonna attract in the future. Now, the last thing that I recommend doing for you if you're trying to get a job in digital marketing is go get your certifications. HubSpot certification, Google AdWords certification, look what other social networks have certifications, whether it's Facebook or Snapchat or Reddit. Um, look to see what email programs have certifications. All this stuff will help you get jobs quicker. And don't just get the certification, try it out on some sites. With Google AdWords, there's a lot of free credit that you can get out there if you sign up for a hosting plan. That's great because learning AdWords is one thing, but actually doing it, right, versus reading it, is which is how most people learn, but doing it and spending the money will make you a much better marketer. And the reason I said earlier on, start with local businesses or e-commerce sites that are really tiny, because these local sites are really competing with other businesses within that region. It's much easier to get results. I would not try to go out there from scratch and try to do things on a national or global level because it's gonna be much harder 
you need to get your feet wet, start getting good, build your confidence up, and then dive more into it. That's how you get your first digital marketing job with little to no experience. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. If you're interested in job and digital marketing, check out my ad agency, NP Digital, where we're always hiring throughout the world. And thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like it, share it with others.